What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here, and I'm bringing you a brand new reaction video. But before that, about 80% of you guys watching are not subscribed. That means two things, either you're new or you're returning. And hopefully this is the video that gets you that subscribe button today. The new goal for this channel is 400 thousand subscribers and the only way we can do that is by you right there hitting that subscribe button i can feel it rising i can feel it oh! keep hitting the subscribe button keep doing it one day we'll even go even further beyond and hit a million subscribers so hit that subscribe button today What's up, everybody? Steven Z. Kelly here, bringing another reaction. And today, ooh, I'm excited for this one because I love Lethal Company. It is such a fun game, and I play this game quite often, um, at least once a week here and there. Sometimes there's a week where I don't play it, but most often I'm playing with my friends and everything. Um, on the weekends, we stream it here and there. And if you guys miss these streams and you guys want to catch these streams, uh, there's highlight funny, heavily edited versions of those playthroughs or uh, streamed funny moments of Lethal Company on the second channel. Go check that out if you guys can. I recently hired a bunch of editors uh, and uh, for the second channel to make some quality content, so please go check that out. Uh, but I'm excited because today, uh, uh, quite a few hours ago, uh, the Russian Badger. I absolutely love the content this guy do, does. The the amount of work and, and everything that goes to all his videos is absolutely hilarious. And uh, he just gets all these moments from streams. And I gotta say, I don't doubt he had a blast with Lethal Company. Especially with his type of videos. This is going to be a treat to watch. So if you guys can do me the biggest favor, no matter what, watching this video for the very first time or re-watching it with me, make sure you do... If you're, if you're watching this for the first time, link in the description, go like, and subscribe to the Russian Badger. Because these videos take lots of time to make, and it's not it's, it's not hard to make a reaction like I'm doing. So, show your support to the creator that we're watching. Anyways, uh, also if you guys are interested in anime reactions, I do that over on my OnlyFans page. Yes, I have an OnlyFans page. <gasps> but I, I use it like I use YouTube. It's as simple to upload videos there as it is to you as YouTube. And a reason I don't use Patreon is because it sucks. So, uh, anyways, let's get into this and enjoy it right now. Lethal Company is like an Easter egg hunt on a minefield. I heard a squelching noise. <laughs> that is the best definition of Lethal Company. Hold up. Lethal Company is like an Easter egg hunt on a minefield. I heard that is perfect. Lethal Company, you need to take that quote and you gotta slap that on the game somewhere. <laughs> if that minefield was also located on a shooting range. Oh god, oh inside of a Holy shit. Oh, there's the bracket. Haunted house crawling with monsters. <laughs> with the scariest monster of all being the crushing demands of capitalism. Is this what minimum wage is like in the United States? Oh god! <laughs> As a ten dollar game made by a furry in his basement, I am morally obligated to play it. So my. I also I gotta give props. I love the title of this. When the ten dollar YouTube poop outsells Call of Duty, which is true. This game outsold the new Call of Duty. Because let's be honest, Call of Duty is fucking trash. He caps remain unshattered and my mailbox unpipe bomb. Of course, Hadi no. drops that. He's like, he's a furry too, Lamar. <laughs> I know I'm late to the party. I know you've already seen tons of videos and tons of streams, but I can assure you, this one is most definitely worse. Hey, Bada, does this sound like an air horn to you? And if you don't mind, I'm just gonna yap about it for 40 minutes because I'm dying to tell you why I'm in love with this YouTube poop of a game that outsold Call of Duty. I really do love it. Honestly, you don't need much, uh, and they did everything right. Oh, no word. <laughs> <laughs> to warn you in advance, this video is sponsored by Swouse, my brand new merch collection on sale for a limited time, but I'm not going to tell you about it for like eight more minutes because I don't want to interrupt the story. So let's get started. Okay, so there's this company God damn. called The Company that puts a metaphorical gun to your head and gives you two choices. Make money for the company. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. Or, if that doesn't sound like your style, your second option is summary execution by the company. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. 
honestly, yeah, you, you work till you die on the job or you work till you can't make enough quota and they fucking kill you. The money required to avoid your execution is called quota, and it doesn't matter how silly or how scary things get, it is the only thing that matters. Hey, what's up, man? Facts. You know you're gonna be summarily executed into the void of space <laughs> if you don't get a quota, right? This may seem like just another boring five-letter word, Q-U-O-T-A, who cares? But the more you play this game, the more you realize it is so much more than that. You will experience horrors beyond your comprehension in the name of quota. Yo. Oh god, the little girl was behind him. Why he herbal? <laughs> oh my god! You <gasps> oh the crunch! Will betray your best friends in the name of quote. Shut, shut, shut up, Mary Kitty Subs. Shut up, fuck. Okay, fuck you, fuck you, it's getting you, it's getting you, it's getting you, dog, sorry. Start the ship, start the fucking ship, put the keys in the ignition, please. <laughs> Hear me loud and clear, and I, <laughs> I have had so many moments. Oh my god, there's a moment in the past that was hilarious. We had, uh, I, I forget the map, it was, a, it was a, it was a fucking modded map, and, uh, it's got, like, a castle and everything, and me and my friends were on this one, People started getting infected by the mass creature thing, and there was multiple ones. Uh, we're running towards the entrance. I go into the entrance. There's like four or five of them. One person's being shucked and puked on, and we just bolt out of there. My friend Spooter's already like uh, 15, 20 feet ahead of me to the ship saying, Start the ship! Start the ship! I look back. I see all the zombies come out and they're looking at me. There's quicksand everywhere because sometimes it glitches out where some people see the quicksand, some people don't. And for me, the map had a ton of quicksand and I was trying to dodge the quicksand while trying to make it to the ship. I get to the ship, but it's already too late. They're they're flying off and I'm like, no! And I get fucking stranded on the fucking thing as they look back. I'm getting grabbed by the zombies and eating my face off. Oh, moments like that never, can never let go true funniness and i mean loud and clear when i say it's quota or die yes, yes, the so zip line, pull that shit loud and clear. Uh, your <laughs> quota is achieved by stealing <laughs> repurposing random junk from quote abandoned industrialized moons that i can assure you were abandoned for a reason uh oh <laughs> yo oh my god this crap officially called scrap is fantastic because it makes absolutely no sense what makes no sense <laughs> is this nuclear powered reactor i'm holding is worth less than a rubber ducky a jar of pickle <laughs> True. can be worth more than an engine a lamp can be worth more than a nuclear reactor even the bodies of your dead teammates technically have a value and in case you weren't already it was five dollars already depressed each and every one of you is worth five whole credits why does this game's economy <laughs> let you oh, trade five around. human beings oh. for a jar of pickles <laughs> right. well, you true you want gift Yo, what's up? a jar of poop Pickles? <laughs> Those are important to potentially. Value is important, but weight is even more important because the heavier something is, the more it drains your stamina and hurts your regen. Which, in a game about sprinting away from things that want you dead, is important to keep an eye on. You can close doors on them, right? They can't open doors. Oh, they can't open doors! Oh my god! Dipshit, <laughs> dumbass spider can't even open a goofy ah doors. Opens door. <laughs> oh god, the spider has opposable thumbs. <laughs> the five basic movements you'll make while scratching. I like to call Spidey or Dipsy. Dancing, interacting, pointing. Loaf. I saw a monster out there. Scanning, which is super important for spotting loot and bad guys, so spam that shit. And why? Mm -hmm. Yapping. I think it goes without saying that yapping is mandatory if you hope to survive. Aren't preachers like professional yappers? <laughs> I mean, they yeah. 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 I'm going to say this right now. I'm dropping this today, which uh, is Saturday. And uh, later tonight. I'm going to be playing, uh, po possibly streaming and everything. I'm, I'm already wanting to play Lethal Company tonight. I want to play Lethal Company tonight. Stay tuned for that stream. We're going, we're going, we're going. Dog changed the yeah, guy. Man, man. Most crap is one-handed, so to speak, because it doesn't restrict your character's action at all. This is a little horrifying, but it's kind of soothing at the same time. Other crap is two-handed, <laughs> which means you can't access your inventory, climb ladders, or pick up anything else with a perfect example being... Oh, yes! Yo, scream it as loud as you can. I want to hear it as loud as you can. <laughs> Yo, you actually had... Soda! <laughs> Soda! <laughs> 
kinds of quirkiness when it comes to scrap and the apparatus is a prime example this mini best mod ever though you take out the apparatus and a nuclear bomb is about to go off you have two minutes to get the ship i love that mod it's so chaotic and fun also when you pull it out uh i think with that mod it increases the spawn rate of enemies like four to five times it, they're they're normal so not only do you nuke your entire facility and give yourself a timeline to get to point a to point b but you now made uh threats to rip out your own asshole more available to you <laughs> a nuclear reactor is what powers the entire facility you're looting so once you take it all the electricity is gone which means no more lights and an immediate spike in radiation levels i love grabbing this thing because it makes everybody's day worse yeah pretty big fan i grab this thing and i ruin everybody's day me grabbing my car keys after 12 cores lights <laughs> oh, 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 oh. i wish this beer would stop telling me to drive which one of you fucks oh, pulled the battery dude, dude i was by myself i was by myself picking shit up and i was like you know what at least i can see where i'm going and make my way back and then all the fucking lights turn <laughs> and off and that's crazy anyway you can call me an idiot for using it as the world's largest heaviest most expensive flashlight but my goals are beyond your understanding hey hold up hey i got a big flashlight for the crew get out of the way big flashlight coming through big flashlight boy on the move big expensive flashlight plenty of scrap has use beyond simply turning into credits to meet quota like keys that unlock doors i got a key for moments like this Hi. Oh, did absolutely <laughs> fucking nothing. Never mind. For my personal favorite. You always gotta check. If it's the apparatus room, you always gotta check both doors before you use the key. For stop signs, so I can beat the shit out of bugs using stolen <laughs> government infrastructure. I wish an anomaly would right now. No matter the junk you collect, it is completely worthless unless you cash it out for credits to meet quota, which is where the terminal comes in. Terminal is the second most important word in this game next to quota, because if you don't learn it, you're in trouble. Your ship's landing and takeoff is controlled by a lever on the dash, but selecting where you want to go is the terminals business typing moons will tell you which are available to loot and how the weather is and trust me weather in this game can be a real kick in the dick once you've made up your mind oh facts best statement ever mind you're typing route then where you want to go like the company building so you can cash out your scrap much like all things in lethal company the hq is also trying to kill you turning in your scrap to the window and ringing a bell will turn meaningless crap into cold hard credits but don't stand too close once the slot opens or you will also be collected also, you will have the equivalent of a, a, a tentacle monster fucking you. Oh god! Oh, <laughs> I flew too close to this. <laughs> Assuming you survive the tentacle monster, it's time for payday. Ah! I need a I mean, paycheck. The size of this paycheck not only depends on what scrap you delivered, but when you delivered it. On day zero, when quota is due, they'll pay you 100% full price for your items. But any day earlier than that, and you only get a fraction of their value. I did not know about that. I generally didn't know that day zero is the best time frame to sell it. I, I've been, I've put, how many hours have I put? Hold up, hold up, hold up. How many hours have I put into Lethal Company? Lethal Company. Hold up, I really gotta know. Oh, okay, okay. I've put about 40 hours. Okay. That's not terrible. But still, I didn't know that. Value. Sometimes 30 cents on the dollar. This is a bunch of math I don't care about. Sell whatever you want on any day you want as long as you meet that almighty number called quota. Assuming you did that... Holy shit, we can finally start having fun. Now that you're no longer a little <laughs> piss baby and you understand quota, let's get down to serious business. <laughs> With newfound credits come oh my god the among us skins newfound options a big one being moons some moons are distant like the infamous titan that costs money if you want to land on them. they are both higher risk and higher reward because even though they cost credits these <laughs> moons have the best crap and the scariest monsters defending that crap hey what's up oh god, bitch? Oh god. freddy fazbear what's up freddy bitch freddy fazbear freddy fazbear back up back up bro you movie was trash <laughs> i saw, I saw four <laughs> people lined up oh my god oh, how much money did we pay to try Travel to this planet. The other major option for burning credits, items. And I know you're gonna ask me, so let me tell you in advance that you cannot buy beans. Hey, you want some beans? Beans? Beans. What kind of beans? What the fuck? <laughs> there is a mod. I, I believe there is a mod that my friends and I have on uh, where it adds more items, and one of the items you can find is beans. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> what the Where'd fuck? my home dogs go? I mean, you can download a mod if you really need beans. Hey, the beans. I think you've noticed by now, people love modding this shit. Dog, you I think I downloaded the whole <laughs> wheel company. <laughs> and who needs beans when you got swouse? My brand new limited time merch that took me two years to get right. And I'll tell you why. You see, I'm one of those perpetually cold MFs that's always shivering his ass off. And that makes Carhartt hoodies my very best friend. But mm -hmm. the problem with wearing Carhartt is that it makes me feel like a fraud. Yes, yeah, so I'll be Yes, yeah, so I'll be If you're wearing a Carhartt hoodie and it's clean, you are not a motherfucker that should be wearing a Carhartt hoodie. I do this hey. shit for a living. I'm not forklift certified, and I've never stepped foot on a construction site, so I've got no business wearing the uniform of a guy that works 37 hours a day. 85 hours a motherfucking day. So to break free of this Carhartt prison, I tried every hoodie you can imagine, from streetwear to activewear, over the past two years, and I found the final form of hoodie. I didn't like cotton hoodies because they stretch out, lose shape, and gather those beads of lint. I didn't like polyester hoodies because sitting in synthetic fabric workout gear all day made me feel like a piece of shit. But my Swaux's hoodie is the perfect blend of primarily cotton with a touch of polyester so it's comfortable, never bees lint, never loses shape, and always looks fit check fresh as the day you bought it. Fresh. The design is inspired by my favorite part of every day, which is the time I spend doing dumb shit with my mocap suit and the source engine, tossing <laughs> shit, breaking shit, hitting myself in the head with a brick, all the things that make you want to say swouse my cousin tyler did such a great job of the designs so that we just honestly i i think it, i think it's really cool that that, that is a very awesome one to make t-shirts and mouse pads too i mean swouse pads i am so committed to the quality <laughs> of this merch that the first thousand of you to order the entire three item set at the link below will receive a handwritten thank you note from my own goddamn fingers i'm gonna break my hands doing this you've got two weeks from today Damn. to place an order with items arriving at your door in about three to four months i know that's a little bit of a wait but it makes sure that everybody who wants a hoodie can get a hoodie unlike those limited merch drops to sell out immediately and only a handful of people get the item that's so fucking stupid i stand by <laughs> the quality of my products you can cancel or refund at any time, I will give you your money back. And I am begging you to place an order at the link below because this shit is too good to miss out on. Use code BADGER for 10% off and thank you for hearing me out. Hey, always support. Moving on from swouse to more serious items, we gotta talk about flashlights because in Lethal Company, you live and die by the flashlight. Who? I never fucking get a flashlight. I don't need one. I'm good. I used a little ding ding sensor thing and blew the light that uh, scans things in front of you. You can see everything in front of you. You don't need a flashlight. Nah. Put a flashlight in the cabinet with 1% battery. I'm gonna crack your <laughs> fucking skull open. If you don't have a flashlight to spot mines, turrets, and monsters lurking in the dark, ready to nay nay your ass into an early grave, you are destined for a life of pain. There's a mine in here. Or you wanna have fun. Here's some mine. Wow, there's also this turret. <laughs> <laughs> you died because no flashlight, no bread alert. These things are so critical that if you fall to your death, your teammates will have one thing to say. Damn, I really missed that flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> There's a different version and a pro version that is brighter, larger, and has double the battery. And if you forget to recharge it, I'm feeding your ass to a spider. All items, including flashlights, are bought via the terminal and delivered to you with a jingle that is nearly impossible to miss. Apart from flashlights, everybody's got a tier list. Ice cream man! Of what's good and what's bad. And the walkie talkie is definitely divisive. It allows you to communicate with anybody else anywhere on the map that is also holding a walkie talkie. But my friends are so loud that I just can't use. Well, all of you Is shut the fuck up. Right? Items can range from. Yeah, unless you're actually trying to be serious, the flash, uh, the the, the walkie-talkie is not that great. Useless novelties that provide zero utility. Hey, can you buy that candlelit dinner, please? Who the fuck a toilet? <laughs> Two items with situational utility, like performance-enhancing medicine to avoid losing all my ad revenue on this video even though it's apparently a safe and legal combo of amphetamines and helium oh i gotta hit it i'm putting flashbangs in the same situational slash possibly useless ca Oh, flashbangs and makeshift flashbangs? You just use those to fuck with your friends. Category. Even though it's funny to flashbang something with eight eyes because it theoretically hits them four times as hard, my homies never deploy it correctly on any monster, spiders included. He's got a flashbang. To your right, to your right. There's a mine as well. <laughs> Mop. Mop. Hey, look, I see. Maybe it worked. Uh, I think it died. You killed it, dog. It's dead. I'm walking past this one. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> the only I 
it ain't dead till it's on its back with its legs curled in. Item more likely to betray your teammates than a flashbang is a ladder, because no matter how sturdy it is, it is only as safe as the guy that's holding it. Just fucking jump, drop it all. Yep. <laughs> He's gonna die. Guy that's holding. Just fucking jump, that, one. that that perfect fade away. You fuck. Yep. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> Just a bad. Yeah, not so funny now, are you? You want something truly useful? Buy a teleport, <laughs> which lets you yoink any player you are currently spectating back to the ship, dead or alive. Just look over <laughs> Bada's shoulders. <laughs> this is how so are you doing this? this? <laughs> Very important to do that, because the company deducts a big chunk of credits for every crewmate you leave behind, but as long as you collect the corpse, you avoid the tax. Okay, I still don't... Uh, okay, Whoa. who's getting excited? Stop, stop, stop! Whoa. There's even an inverse teleporter, which beams you from the ship into a random part of the facility, as scary as that Sound. Press the yellow button. Okay. All right, let's get in there. All right, Come we gotta on. go. We're going to the same place. Get in the ice pocket. That is horrifying. That all of them are now gone. The only major downside here is that <laughs> items do not. I fucking love the one that teleports you in. I travel with you, so it's best to use it for body retrieval or getting a trapped buddy out of a jam. Hey, teleport me out. I'll go back to the ship. I need to be teleported. Okay, don't move. I'm not teleporting his dumbass. Wasting resources. I'm looting other sections of the map. Ooh, engine. <laughs> no way. I gotta see what happened. Yo, Loaf, are you good? <laughs> loaf. Loaf, can you hear me? Is there a Loaf still alive in here? That answers nope. my question. I think I'm done here. And with that, it's time to move on from <laughs> items to cooperation. Because if you understand teamwork, it'll open a lot of doors for you. This, this door? Yeah, open it. No, the other one that says... God, this is the perfect representation of the game. The chaos, the funniness. I love this video. Lock dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> It goes without saying that being friendly and cooperative leads to better outcomes in Lethal Company, but if you ask me, being hostile and chaotic is a whole lot funnier. Oh, you know what? I think he's a piece of shit, but we won't bring that up. But if you hope to meet quota, especially the larger quotas, you'll need to trust and cooperate with your teammates. Gary put it there. He said it won't go off. I don't think it's going to go off. So I think well, yeah, I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> 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 I thought you said this was tech. I thought you said it was tech. <laughs> Making tough choices is a fundamental part of what makes Lethal Company so addicting, and I'll illustrate this with a door. Let's say you've got a teammate being chased by a monster rushing towards the ship, and you've got two choices. Close the door and let your teammate die, but keep yourself and all your other teammates safe from the monster. Close it on, Digi. Oh, yeah, oh, baby. baby. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> or alternatively, open the door for your sprinting teammate mm -hmm. to potentially save his life, but run the risk of the monster getting inside and killing all of Honestly, option two usually does lead to death most often. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Get it. <laughs> This is a major reason why Lethal Company is incredible, because weighing risks and constantly making life or death decisions for both you and your teammates is... In this kind of game, the life of four outweighs the life of one. It's always exciting. Oh, right? here they come, here they come, Grab here it. they come, here they we come. Close the door. Better hurry up, better hurry up. Oh, he left him behind. He left Gary behind. Oh, no. Oh. I think it's beneficial to have some pessimists on the team that may be a little negative, but also keep your feet on the ground with pragmatic decision making, especially with credit spending. Did you, did you spend 500 fucking dollars? <laughs> <laughs> but you can't forget to balance out these negative players with hopeful optimists that bring enough energy and levity to keep the whole team going. I'm ready to work for minimum wage. The teamwork dynamic radically <laughs> changes if you have the big lo That's me. lobby mod enabled, which is extremely in the game extremely popular and changes the team from a max of four players to 40 players and the more players you have the less teamwork is important if you have a lobby exceeding 10 that is very true most often we have like maybe i think the most we've ever had in a lobby uh has been like 
between eight and ten players it's gonna feel like you picked up an entire menards worth of contractors on the way to that move smoking on the menards <laughs> two by four bed. bro menards two by fours aren't even two by fours anymore they're 1.5 by 3.5 so i like, yeah. five hours a motherfucking day i do this shit for a living you got soft hands you got soft hands you got 85 hours a motherfucker now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It, everything changes when you go beyond the default. I love it. Players. A horror game isn't much of a horror game when you outnumber the monsters and all you can hear is chatter about George W. Bush. I got a picture of George W. Bush that I can't demolish. <laughs> <laughs> Conversation. <laughs> Why is it so Yo, what were you Hello? saying about George Bush earlier before you cut off? I was talking about my morning ritual. Uh, every morning, I wake up, I salute the flag, oh, I take a shit, get something. out of bed, and then I... <laughs> Wait, you say a shit in the bed? I kiss a photo of George Bush every morning. Herschel Walker and W. It's about time we got to the monsters anyway, because each one being unique adds yet another layer of complexity and, quite frankly, fun, if you ask me. Oh! <laughs> uh, Wait, somebody's on the... Oh, wait a minute! When you land on a moon, the day starts at 8.02 a.m. and it's imperative that you move as fast as possible. Go, 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 go! 7.25 an hour, let's go! <laughs> I don't even know Let's go! With our tip, baby! Flag. If you ain't first, you're last! Get up that ladder, boy! Because the ship will automatically leave you- <laughs> I wish I had a- I wish I- I wish we were as chaotic as that sometimes. That's amazing. Behind at midnight, and as the day goes on, more and more monsters will spawn. Let's go. Yo, what the f You might think you're built different after easy looting in the early game, but once the sun goes down, your likelihood of getting G-checked by a monster goes way up. Damn, I'm good. I'm built different, man. I'm built different. That's right. I made it. I'm built distinctly, bro. Damn. That's crazy. The first monster to keep in mind, gravity. I'm willing to bet that gravity kills more. Oh yeah, gravity is the worst thing ever. You, you, a lot of times you do die by gravity in this game. More interns than any other monster, and the number of times I get accused of pushing people is ridiculous. Oh shit! No! <laughs> what? I didn't what? push him. I mean, I guided him, but I didn't push him. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> kinda sussy. I'm gonna be real. Okay, okay, fine, fuckface. Spell suspicious. <laughs> you cannot spell suspicious. Alright. S. Oh, you go first. E. <laughs> <laughs> Turrets are self-explanatory, but mines have a little quirk. By this point, you've already seen so many deaths to landmines that they just aren't funny anymore. Mamma mia! <laughs> But what's interesting about them is that they don't detonate until you step off of them. You have to be on it. <laughs> oh, you don't have to be on it. So if you ever accidentally trigger one, you can save lives by getting your teammates out of the blast radius before you step off. Or you fuck with your teammates and get them killed with you. Some monsters you can negotiate with, like hoarding bugs, that will completely leave you alone if you drop them loot. Hey, come here, fuckface. There you go. No, no, no. There, there. Get out of here. He's, see, he's excited. That was a good trade. It truly does not matter what that loot is. Bada literally gave one a gun, and it immediately left him alone. I'm out of bullets, I'm out of bullets. Oh, let him take your I'm shotgun. Negotiate, negotiate. Get okay, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> get out. No, no thing in that every monster can be negotiated with, because if you try to pull that shit with Bracken, he may not be so amused. I'm gonna... He's gonna snap your neck and twist your spine out of your asshole. Give him some Coca-Cola and we'll negotiate. <laughs> 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 Bracken is the most beloved entity in the game that prefers red to blue and is often modded to become Freddy Fazbear. All right, if you call him or Son Goku, Freddy Rizbear again, I'm gonna ban you, Jamesy. Oh my God, he's right there! Hey, what's up, my boy? Oh. <laughs> oh my God, bro, I summoned him. That was me. Wait, is he that Nene? He'll snap your neck and drag your body back to his <laughs> trap house if you get too close or stare too long. But if you only glance at him, he'll just leave. Oh, okay. I see that I'm not alone anymore. Did Bracken come back? Okay, 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 he came back. <laughs>
he shared a joke. <laughs> I like the little tiptoe sound effects of him scurrying around the corners. Oh, you see me. Perfect. Senor Bracken, come out to play. Yay. No. Oh my god! Some monster interactions are just horseshit. Like the speed that a thumper can wave dash is nothing short of a death. Oh my god, I still love the edit my one of my editors did uh, for Lethal Company a long time ago where it was completely like so far down a hallway and I just happen to see it and it sees me and then it like as it like enters the speed force coming after my ass just Dark Souls boss music boom it was perfect sentence <laughs> like that what is that speed? I feel like Gary would be so hyped about his movement. And don't even get me started on the spooky little girl. The math were- I still barely ever- I, I can literally count on one hand with 40 hours into the game, uh, maybe more, because I do use the mod thing, so I'm wondering if it counts the hours, because I feel like I've played way more than 40 hours. Um, but I, I, I still can count on one hand the amount of times I've had to deal with the ghost, uh, the ghost girl. Not that many. Required to understand her behavior could probably stump Richard Fine. Oh, girl, fuck this. I, I... <laughs> All right, so should I be scared or not? She's just breathing. She ran away because she's a scared little coward. See you later, chicken shit. Dumbass child. But for the most part, each monster has died. flaws for you to exploit. If you don't want to get eaten by a giant, make sure he doesn't see you. There's another one! Oh, God. If you don't want to get eaten by a dog, make sure he doesn't hear you. Chad, I'm going to say it super quietly. What the dog doing? Oh, God. Oh, look at me. I proc on sound. Stupid ass dog. <laughs> the more unique the monster's flaw, the more unique the interaction. And I think Coilhead takes the cake for me. No, I could not get out. Uh, Coilheads are invincible, but can only move when you aren't looking at them. So making sure one of your teammates mm -hmm. is always making eye contact is crucial. Also, it gets so much more terrifying with the blink mod. Yeah, and look quick. Cooperation, to bring that up again, is the best way to deal with them. But if you have a teammate nearby and you just don't tell them, that's also a solution. Uh, it's towards... <laughs> Well, can you close doors on them? Oh, on the block? No, they open doors. All things can open doors. Oh, sh- <laughs> Do not- <laughs> The- Oh, sh- <laughs> Go in there. Do not- Go in there. Do not- Go in there. <laughs> He's going in there. All right, I'm going back to the ship. All right. So what happened? You You're all died. Right. So um, you want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Counterintuitively, he can be even more dangerous with a large group because everybody else assumes that somebody else will maintain the eye contact. Badger this way. Badger this you way. You a whole bit. Oh. No, wait. What if I the other way. Fire escape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was the jester, not the, uh, the fucking... Yeah. Oh my god. I got this. I, 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 I got a single frame of that scream. If you prefer fight to flight, bashing monsters to death with shovels or stop signs is an option in Lethal Company. And it's satisfying. But this strategy is much more suited to a modded lobby with 10 guys running around than a default lobby with four. Get his ass, fellas. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Nice. This game was clearly designed as a run away from the monsters game, not a Space Hulk, the monsters run away from me game. He is cooked. Uh -oh. I'm gonna yeah. gobble him. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Jerry death scream. <laughs> 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 oh, no. oh, I gotta get my, I gotta get my soundboard like on, uh, on my stream deck fix, and I gotta get that scream. Oh my god, I gotta add, I gotta start doing that during the uh, the the streams of Lethal Company. Oh, oh, and Jerry oh, looking dude. ass deaf. All right, fuck I'm gonna jump into the ocean. You guys be good. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Plenty of monsters are invincible. Most can out DPS you, and it always feels better to find the creative solution to the bad guy instead of trying to solve every problem with a stop sign. Will he take a whole ass large axle? I want to see him take anything. It. All right, all right, you ready? Okay, yeah. back up, back up. Oh, he took it! He took the whole ass large axle! <laughs> 
He seems they so happy. Pretty happy about it. And you've already seen in this video that the scariest monsters are often your own teammates. It's also common to have a Facts. commander, so to speak, who is somebody that stays behind on the ship to monitor the radar, open secure doors, teleport players, and communicate on the radio. There is Zelos. essentially the one driving the boat, having both Zelos. Both great power and great responsibility. Let me drive the boat. His ass has been drinking. Do not give him the keys. 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 He's the wheel. Let's go. What's that shit? And that's me. Because if they ever decide to take off early, it means a premature death for anybody not on the ship. And I have never seen a group of interns so angry. For what reason? We're beating Digi with We are aligning Digi with a brick. Get his ass! 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 You are such a stupid moron. Do you know how much loot we had? We had thousands. Digi, we're gonna beat you to death with hammers. I hope you know that. I say that we were. Revoke Digi's oxygen privileges. I, th I think that those need to, yeah, those need to go yeah, away. Yes! 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 Oh yes, my yes, god. Yes. Give me them two oh, bullets, two bullets <laughs> Digi. I don't feel respected here. Why do I need rever- Wait, where did you go? <laughs> you can't leave the disrespectful space. A final question I'm sure you're asking. <laughs> is Lethal Company scary? And the answer entirely depends on settings. If you're It can be. And it's absolutely worth getting it to the point where it's scary. I'm the big lobby mob like me and constantly have teammates around saying things like this. You only get salt, pepper, ketchup, a little bit of poop. Uh, you know, the usual. No, it's not scary. If you jack up your brightness like I see a ton of people do, no, it's not. Oh yeah, you're you're a pu you're full on pussy level if you do that. Not a scary game. But if you're playing default four player regular vanilla, I think it shows how brilliant and scary, or at the very least unsettling, the game is. I never thought. Yep. I'd unironically say this word, but the reason why is immersion. I know Skulker is about to bully me and tell me I smell like beans for saying that word, but hear me out. You're playing the KV2, you smell like fucking beans, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike a Discord call, which feels flat and 2D, the proximity voice chat in this game makes it feel 3D with both distance and direction. Oh, you're above me, you're up there. <laughs> <laughs> It really does enhance the game completely, and it it it's such a good feature in the game. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking haunting. <laughs> For lack of a better word, you are immersed in this world with 3D surround sound that temporarily tricks you into feeling like you are in a place talking to other people. I oh, think I got my swagger back. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Yeah. The moment I realized this was brilliant was the moment it was taken away from me. I was deep in the facility down a lab through hallways and my flashlight was almost dead. Feel like it's getting kind of late, fellas, and I'm running out of battery. I called out for help from my teammates, but I was met with silence, so I tried the radio instead. Let's try this. Can anybody help me get out of the facility? I'm just totally lost. Hello? I have never felt so completely alone in my entire <laughs> life. You get so comfortable saying things out loud and hearing things said back in a 3D space that when you say something and don't hear anything back, it is haunting. Your flashlight is dead, the night is getting darker, and the only noises you can hear are monsters approaching you from all angles. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. Here in big movement. Honestly, at this point, he didn't see me. No, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. Just leave the facility, Badger. What do you think I'm trying to do? I can't find my way out. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that was such a labyrinth. There was no way that I was finding my way out. That is how Lethal Company can be scary and what makes it so brilliant. When you are around others, the game really makes you feel like you're around others. They retweet a lot of shit, bro. Like, I don't keep up. I just, I just hit retweet and I keep scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> when you are by yourself, the game really makes you feel like you are by yourself. We are talking 100% forever alone. You are a dead man walking that they will never find. I am blown away that this game was made by one guy, and you won't understand the true extent of That's actually crazy. I did not know that. His goofy creativity until you've played it for yourself. Press B on things, and just, I eat it, and it disappears. <laughs> I hope that guy who created Lethal Company is rolling in the money right now. Don't eat the toilet either. That's just gross. 
No. <laughs> I'm excited to see how Lethal Company evolves in the future, because since I started making this video, there's been a major update and a mountain of mods added to this game. We get that pirate bay alien no, 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 shish no, no, no. kebab 47 money. A move the mod community is crazy, and there's some ridiculous, like, I, I, I mean, there's some disturbing mods too, but there's some crazy, awesome, really like, advanced, and so breathtakingly good mods but also there's some really 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 weird ones too if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about oh my god dude. the introduction comment down below what is the weirdest lethal company mod you've ever seen and i probably the one i'm talking about probably beats it Stay to the end of the video and I may tell you. ...of the double barrel shotgun from this nutcracker monster has completely changed the game. This one item suddenly makes every crewmate more dangerous than a police officer hearing a falling acorn. He's got a gun! He's got... <laughs> oh no! No, you made that reference! No! I got his gun! He's got a gun! Yeah, we got him! Damn. <laughs> Damn. I don't know why, but having this thing around crewmates is like a PDF around boomers. People are gonna die. I guarantee it. That's actually the key to just conquering boomers. Ask them to sign a PDF digitally, they just die. I asked a boomer to sign a PDF for me and he pulled out an electron microscope. <laughs> <laughs> Adding a gun to the game may not sound like a big shift, but it has the ability to transform trustworthy crewmates into homicidal maniacs. What's even funnier is that there's a new item called the dramatic mask that is specifically designed for this purpose of I love the fact that they added that turning teammates evil. I can't wait until there's some of new official like monsters and, and, and other things too. As in, if you hold it up to your face, you can literally turn into a monster that attacks your teammates like a zombie. Yeah, and even that thing is far less dangerous than a teammate with a shotgun in his hands. I got I got five copies of the <laughs> <laughs> In the hands of a reasonable teammate, the outcomes are incredibly positive because the ability to kill a monster in a split second will get you out of a jam and save lives. But putting the power of God in the hands of an unreasonable teammate, the outcomes may not be so positive. You know what? I don't even care. I eat bullets. I don't give a fuck. Let me have it. I just had to G-check him on that dog. <laughs> this shotgun just talks to me sometimes. You can't blame it on me. Please, give me the shotgun. I'm normal. I can be trusted with a double barrel shotgun when my teammates are unarmed. The little girl coming after me. I'm fucked. I have a gun. Little girls aren't good against guns. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Only I can see her, and when she reaches me, my head is full. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about her anymore. I just wanted to tell him that I would solve his problem so badly. There's even a safety mechanic on this thing, mm -hmm. because when it's loaded with the safety off, it can randomly fire, and not all of us agreed on safety rules. What happened down here? So my safety was on, and I didn't manage to shoot, but Ooh. thankfully, Mickey saved me. Hey, you can just hey, never turn the safety bobby. on. That solves I did not know the shotgun has a safety mode. I've never known that. The problem. Safety? Always off. What? I am a Yeah, honestly, truthfully, you can't trust me with a shotgun in the game. Responsible in the If I make it back, oh no, I do that. great. Sigrid is locked the fuck in. She was not tolerant. <laughs> Eddie Tom the menacing turn. <laughs> Alright. Sigrid oh is so locked in. Like, how is this possible? <laughs> Holy shit. We are reaching levels of locked in we thought previously unattainable. Oh, I was so fucking locked in. <laughs> Sigrid, you fucking shot me the back of the head. If you were any more locked in, it would be considered a prison sentence. What makes this especially dangerous is that the spread on this bad boy is massive, and it has no problem slapping multiple targets at once. Okay. Yo, come on, I found out that the hard way when I went to go shoot my friend, uh, my friend Pilk, and I took out two others. Ah! How did you kill the all fuck? of us? Damn, somebody How killed me. How did we me. all die from that? My most recent play session in February taught me that mods can definitely enhance or weaken the experience depending on your perspective. Like, cosmetics and emotes are just fine. What is gorilla? Oh, that's... <laughs> what, what, what do you think? Me when I see my ops. <laughs> <laughs> but if you turn on the wrong mod like Brutal Company, it...
I, I I love that mod so much, but we don't get to play it that much because everyone else is pussy. Ruins everything. Bruh. 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 Pasta doesn't know that there's gonna be a mine under his feet in three, two, one, and. Execution. It may be funny for a round or two, and it may make Twitch chat laugh, but that's only because you've made the game impossible. It's true, but it's fun to turn on just for a couple rounds, just for fun. Oh my god, Chad. That's probably the scariest thing. That has ever happened to me in my life. Don't get me wrong, I'm strongly in favor of pushing the bounds of what's possible in a game and limit testing to the ends of the earth. We must limit test. But there comes a point where too much is too much. Like if you find yourself in a game where you can always hear other people talking no matter your position on the map, the big lobby mod has gone too far. Bitch, we can hear y'all through the bookcase. Yeah, we can. As soon as I think Gary's too far away to be heard, I just hear, huh? Instead of one lobby of 20, how about two games of 10, four games of five, five games of four? You do the math. I think I've made my point on the mods. If you really want to squeeze the fun out of this game, less is more. This is just Gary. I don't care what you tell me. Yeah. This is Gary. I think there's an honest balance of like eight. Eight seems to be just right to still keep the, the, the wackiness, but at the same time uh, have the fear and the intensity of, Holy shit, we're gonna get our shit pushed in if we're not careful. Oh. Wrap it on up here, I can't thank those of you on Twitch enough for helping me make this video. From the subs, to the bits, to the jokes. I used my neural link to exterminate every Kia Soul owner in existence. I hope he's making a Helldivers video soon too. I, 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 I can't wait for Russian Badger to do a Helldivers video. <laughs> Why do you hate the Kia Soul so much? That makes no sense. Damn, I don't want Chad to get a neural link. If Chad ever gets a hold of a neural link, it's over. Kia Souls are built like Kingpin from Spider Verse. I stream two hours a day, six days a week now, and having thousands of you screaming at me about my busted ass hairline really is a dream come true. Do not forget about the Swouse merch at the link below. It's only available for the next 14 days, and it's a great way to support these videos while also making sure you pass the fit check. Fresh. And a final shout out to Zeekers for reminding me what kind of power an individual has in 2024. The fact that Lethal Company was made by a single person blows my mind, and I've never spent a better $10 in my entire life. Honestly, facts. I would, I would no joke easily double or triple the cost that like Lethal Company is worth like at least six, uh, not 60, but at least $30. I feel like it is so fucking good. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm fine. 10 bucks is a fucking steal for this game. Two bullets and I had Hitler, Stalin, and Digi in front of me. I'd shoot Digi twice. <laughs> <laughs> if the earth is flat, why is my life constantly going downhill? Uh, um, um. <laughs> That's a jetpack. What is... What is this hatch actually for? Alright, uh, there he goes. Uh-oh. He's gonna blow up. He's gonna blow up. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Why did it do that? Why did it do that? <laughs> Why did it do that? I read the directions on the jetpack. It said, we fly high, no lie. And that's about it, dog. The final thing I have to say is thank you for watching all the way to the end of my video. I really hope it defied your expectations. Thank you for hearing me out on the merch, and I am so excited to see what the next video looks like. All you Twitch MFs already know it's Helldivers 2, but I am so... <gasps> Yes! So excited to start that video. It's not even funny. Once again, thank you so much. You guys give me the greatest job in the. I, I'm either playing Helldivers 2 or I'm playing Lethal Company. Both are fantastic, great games. Honestly, Helldivers 2 is game of the year for me already for this year. Whole wide world, and I will catch you in the next video. <laughs> I just wanted to make a weird noise just to like really mark the end of the video, and I, I guess that works. All right, all right. You made it to the end of the video. I had gotten this disturbing information from one of my friends um, that has been going through all the mods for us most often. And this was early day. And then you can actually go find the video where uh, my friends uh, told me about it the first time. But this is downright the weirdest and what the fuck mod ever in Lethal Company. There's a mod that you can attach or link up to a butt plug and have it vibrate every time you die 
There you go. That's the if you wait, waited to the very end of this video to find out what mod is the weirdest one ever for me. That's the weirdest one. Comment down below what the weirdest mod is for you guys in Lethal Company and see if that beats it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Stay tuned for more. And I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend if you're watching this. If you're watching this another day during the week or another time frame in general, a year or so, I still hope you had a fantastic day. Anyways, till then, stay tuned for more videos and check out more. Subscribe to my channel. Bye!